Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ron, and today we're going to be doing another Killing Floor 2 video. This time we're going to be taking a look at the last new weapon, uh, kind of, of uh, the new beta in Killing Floor 2, and that is the HRG Disruptor. This is a new free weapon that everybody's going to have access to. This goes to the Gunslinger class, and this is a version of, well, it's been modeled off of the Medic Pistol. It functions quite a bit differently than the Medic Pistol. It's a Tier 4 weapon that weighs 4, which is surprising. Most Tier 4 weapons do not weigh that less, so um, upgrades are actually pretty good for it, because it only goes up to a maximum of 5 weight, which makes it a pretty decent off perk in my opinion. Um, it holds 15 rounds just like the Medic Pistol. It holds 135 rounds outside of it, so much less than the Medic Pistol since the Medic Pistol is like 280 or something like that. I don't exactly remember how many bullets the Medic Pistol holds. This does 90 damage a shot with its primary fire. With its alternate fire, it does 300 damage, but this consumes 3 ammo. These count as ballistic damage, handgun, both, but the secondary fire can also apply to EMP status effects so that you can uh, EMP Zeds. If you EMP a Z, that means they can't use whatever their special power is. So, strikes and flesh pounds can't rage unless they're already raging. Bloats can't vomit, again, unless they're already vomiting. Husks can't blow themselves up or blow fire or anything like that. Sirens can't scream. Very useful. This has the about the same rate of fire as the Medic Pistol. It might be the exact same with its primary fire. With its secondary fire, it shoots much slower. Uh, at only 85 rounds per minute, the primary fire is at 342 rounds per minute. So with four rounds, hell on earth, you're not actually going to have enough to get the uh, Disruptor right away because it is 1500 since it is a tier 4 weapon. But this would be a good time to also grab the Piranha Pistols with the uh, Gunslinger because I feel like these two in combination work pretty well. You can actually use anything with the Disruptor with Gunslinger because the Disruptor only goes up to a max weight of 5. So even if you wanted to take the Glock 18s and upgrade them, you could. Uh, and that would Someone be 10 weight plus game. 5. So Boy, it gives you some game. more options if you want to do that with the Glocks. Glocks are really strong. You could also take it with something like the center fire and fully upgrade that, or the Winchester and fully upgrade it. Um, right now I'm just going to be running the Piranha Pistols and I yeah. guess this Winchester that I found on the ground. Alright, I got enough money to get the Disruptor. Don't have that much ammo, but... Uh, well, we got this it. And me. this weapon is rather interesting. It has the pretty much the same sights as the Medic Pistol. You can also check your ammo there. And you'll see that it is yellow or this kind of goldish color in its primary fire. If you switch to its secondary fire, it turns purple. And then this will have quite a bit more recoil than a regular shot, but do more damage and have a slower rate of fire. So let's begin and talk about this and how I use it slash how I found it to be useful. So I found it to be kind of useful with just about anything that Gunslinger has because of its light weight and relatively good damage per shot. You know, 90 damage a shot is still quite good. Um, it, it functions really well against small enemies and the Medic Pistol sights are fantastic. I love them. Um, it can also shoot fast enough too. So I don't really have all that many instances where I'm really wishing I had more DPS with it. Using its secondary fire, I find is pretty good against uh, the medium Zeds. If you just see a medium Zed off in the distance like a husk about to shoot, you can shoot back and hit it. I don't really use it for any of these smaller enemies, because the regular fire is good enough. It's also a pretty easy weapon to spam fire. The main problem I have with this weapon though is just that you don't get a whole lot of shots with it. I found that it when I'm using this weapon, I tend to either use it up right away, or I tend to save it for like a backup weapon, depending on whatever my Someone primary weapons time. are. If I'm using this with the Glocks, then I generally use this weapon up first, um, and then just use the Glocks against everything large, because the Glocks work really well against, well, everything, but this way I can kind of mitigate the ammo usage. If I'm using it with the Piranha Pistols, I also tend to use it first, because the Piranha Pistols are also quite good for using against anything large. Just kind of run and gun is, well, the usual way that I play Gunslinger anyway, but uh, no, even more so playing, when I play in okay. solo. I think that overall this weapon is fine. Um, I wouldn't say that it's a top tier weapon for Gunslinger, but I also wouldn't say that it's a like real bottom tier weapon for Gunslinger either. It's just kind of nice to have. Like Regardless of what weapons I'm going to be using, this one will always be okay with them. <laughs> If I want to use 500 Magnums, this is fine. If I want to use Deagles, this is also fine. If I want to use, um, like, Winchester, Centerfire, uh, Grenade Pistol, whatever it might be. All of them, not that bad. 
No, I didn't reload my Piranha Pistols. I should probably do that. And the Piranha Pistols on Gunslinger are quite strong. They are rather ridiculous. Uh, they're pretty good on Berserker, and I think I actually use them a bit more on Berserker, or at least I have been, because it gives you another ranged weapon and a forgiving ranged weapon similar to the Eviscerator, but without all the weight of the Eviscerator. So, very good. Uh, on Gunslinger, it's just another really strong weapon. And Gunslinger already has a lot of really strong oh, weapons. Love my guns. I mean, it's not all that terribly difficult to beat like hell on Earth just with the Medic Pistol alone with Gunslinger. You can do it without too much trouble. Uh, at least if you have a good map to run around on. Okay. Uh, against large sets like Flesh Bounds, you can also kill them fairly quick. Well, at least if I can hit headshots. We'll see. There Easy we go. As so, dead fairly fast. I didn't even need to go to the Piranha Pistols until I actually ran out of ammo with the Disruptor. I forgot to tell you what the um, upgrade actually does, like, percentage-wise. This increases the weapon's damage by 15%, so you go up to 103 primary damage and 340 uh, secondary, or I guess, yeah, secondary fire damage. And at 100 damage, that's pretty nice, because I think that's enough to just body shot, yeah. It's enough just to body shot small Zeds, at least if you're playing solo like Eleanor. I think them. it's the same if you're playing multiplayer. And it's more than enough to headshot plenty of these other Zeds. So... One of those cloaked cows. It hits a nice weight, it hits a nice amount of damage, even though this weapon, like I said, is not super, like, flashy or anything. It's just kind of nice to have. You can kill strikes pretty quick with it. Obviously, rack em up helps quite a bit. But that's with all of Gunslinger's weapons. You can cut through quarter pounds, no problem. <laughs> this weapon also seems to be pretty good against robots, too, which is nice since nobody really likes to fight robots. I mean, it, it's less annoying if you're playing, like, Firebug and you have a Helios rifle or something, but it's always going to be annoying for everybody else. You know, come to think of it, based on the damages and weights, this feels very similar to, like, the M14. Because this actually, I believe, has a higher rate of fire than the M14. Smaller magazine. You could argue better or worse sights. But it scales about as high as the M14 does when it's fully upgraded. And this weighs less at only 5, where the M14 is... 9? 8 or 9. Something like that. So I kind of think of this as like a, maybe an off M14 with better weight. Ah, oh, we got Matriarch. Okay, I think this weapon will actually be quite strong against her because EMP blasts are very strong against her. It makes it so she can't do a lot of her things. And this little uh, Ferris wheel, merry-go-round, whatever the heck this is. I guess it's not a Ferris wheel. Twirl and hurl, I'll call it that. Um, Don't run. It's You'll pretty good for... Uh, Would you like to be part of an electrical circuit? <laughs> Plasmas are useful in a large number of applications. This may result in electrolysis of your fluids. Yeah, Effectively utilizing plasma is a fun art. Alright, Major, let's go this way. This is what's called the fourth state of matter. This is how science really works. Plasmas are useful in a large number of applications. That's another one! The electricity has great potential for serious burns or death. Alright. <laughs> well, we're almost out of bolts already, but we have we done quite a bit to her. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, secondary fire seems to be pretty good against the robots. Is it plasma intriguing? I wish this still made me ill. Run over here. The human boss behind this. This is what's called. Once we get her to the point where she's just gonna try to charge us, it's pretty much always easier to fight. I'm disinterested. Is it plasma intriguing? I'm running out of. Ammo, there we go. Find some more bullets. Perhaps we don't understand each other. Okay. That might make it a little bit quicker to get to the last phase. 
Would you like to be part of an electrical circle? Armor integrity fails. There we go. He does. Would you kindly? Yeah, now she's just gonna try to tentacle us. Yeah, come on, Matriarch, let's go. This way. Outside. Make sure that power is staying on. Nearly <laughs> dead. There we go. Let's kill her with the purple. There we go. So use the purple blast for high damage. Use the other blast pretty much all the time. At least that's what I use it for. I mostly just keep it on the regular fire and just keep spamming it. Even though you can technically get a little bit more damage out of uh, firing the purple blast. It's just it's more difficult to keep rack em up going with that. And you can switch back and forth. I've done that before. That works okay too. Um, this weapon's also really good if you keep it on the purple and you have the Glocks. Use them to get rack em up and then switch to it to hit them repeatedly with the extra damage that you would get from rack em up. So overall, the Disruptor, I like quite a bit. I think it's a pretty good weapon. Um, again, I don't think it's a top tier weapon for Gunslinger, but it's certainly not a bottom tier weapon. It's just good. And it would probably make a really good off perk weapon. Uh, thanks everybody for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Tell me what your thoughts are down in the comments below on the HRG Disruptor. What you think needs to be changed about it. If anything needs to be changed about it, I'm honestly okay with where it is. Maybe give it a little bit more ammo, like up to 150 rounds rather than 135. Uh, maybe even go up to 200, but that's about the only improvement I think that is not even necessary, but would help a lot. Special thanks to all of the supporters of the channel. These are my members over here on YouTube and my patrons over on Patreon. If you would like to be a part of that, there are links down in the description that you can go off and do that. You'll get early access to some of these videos as well as a few other perks. If you guys are new here, be sure that you can subscribe. That way you get notifications whenever I post these. And if you guys would like to see my other Killing Floor content, be sure to click right over here on this video. That'll take you to a full playlist of them. Thanks. See you guys next time. Bye.